Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I said, man, I finna, man, I gotta do hit something. Them hey, say, hit them streets. Say, hit them streets. I again. gotta do something, right? So, I said, man, what I'm gonna do? I said, man, I'm not selling no crack. Uh uh, I can't do that. It's so weed. So, bam, I said, nah, I'm finna mess y'all up. Uh, and we ain't even talk about this, but Charleston, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he know, I used to always tell him not to say nothing. So, boss talk, y'all getting the, we getting the exclusive. <laughs> y'all getting the exclusive. I said, man, I know what I'm finna do. Charleston went to Houston, had a li- this little old boom. I said, nigga, I'm finna start pimping. Mm. Oh, yeah, you oh, you put your PVP stick out. I said, man. Get a fur coat? Charleston, I'm finna start pimping. Nah, so I sit there, I'm like, <laughs> so Charleston, like, man, man, you better. Run, 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 run. I said, shh. So, next thing you know, I still remember. This Super Bowl time, mm-hmm. she went to Houston and called and said, hey, we ready, you know what I'm saying? We finna come back. I was with Charleston. And then Charleston, we rolled down there and picked up. Oh, she got a big bag. Oh, man. Hey, Charleston, man. This boy, I'm talking about a look. I said, ooh, man. I said, oh, it's on. We driving back. Charleston almost had a heart attack <laughs> when we were driving back. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Like a little, like you serious, like a heart like attack. Like a heart attack. For, we had to literally, we was laughing. But he was panicking, so he had to pull over, jump out the car, <laughs> and he go to the hospital. So I had to, man, get in the car. We had to drive him to the hospital. He had to go to the hospital. Wow. We in, the, in the middle of nowhere. They told me he was panicking. He was. He had like a panic, panic attack. attack. So we had to get him. He, they let him go. We get in the car. We, what are you panicking for? I still don't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I because love this all dude. that money I love this dude, man. I don't know, man. No, no, no. That ain't it. It, it, what are you panicking nigga for? Nigga just go do it, man. man that nigga, I said, man. So that was the transformation. We went back. We went all the way to the house. I'm up now. We went for work. So how long did you pimp for? We went to Fort Worth. I'm, I'm from the mess. We went to Fort Worth, right? And, uh. I say, Charles, man, we got. I gotta find a club to put in. He say, man, take her to the, this rooms over here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you niggas is hell. So, bam, I did it. So I'm like, man, I right, we gonna do it. So I went over there, I did it, put it in there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, next day, now at this time, I'm in a relationship, right? Okay, with the same chick. No, this is another okay. chick. I'm in a relationship. Now, with her, I'm telling her. Like man, I got a weed house in Fort Worth. I gotta go. I gotta go uh, drop the weed off at this time and pick the weed up at this time. The money and stuff up at this mm-hmm. time, right? She like, okay, that's a bit. So at the whole time, I'm going to get her, taking her to work. I gotta go pick her up and drop off. I know. But I'm in a relationship, right? And in my mind, I still man, man. I wish Charles was here. Though. I still man. I'm sitting there, right? We getting man. We getting some money. I'm talking about Charles, man, I'm talking about money. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. I say, Charles, man, this shit ain't right, bro. <laughs> I said, man, this shit ain't right. I'm doing, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was just him and his cousin Dante. And they say, man, you tripping. Man, you tripping, man. That's a hoe, man. She's supposed to give you that money, man. I said, man, this shit ain't right, bro. I said, man, this shit ain't right, man. I, I said, man, this shit ain't right, bro. I said, karma gonna come and get me, bro. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, man. Man, nigga, like, man, you tripping, bro. So, bam. I kept going with it. But every time I came home, I kind of feel guilty. But at that time, the girl I was with, she was a, a purse girl. So whenever she be like. Start tripping, you go get her a purse. I bought, she go get a brand new purse. Oh, to so get her brand new purse. Everything good. Yeah. So now we done moved to this big old house. Man, pimping good, man. Pimping. And she ain't asking you where all this money coming from to buy all this yeah. stuff? Yeah. I told her I had a house. I, I told her I had a couple of houses out there in Fort Worth. <laughs> yeah. She thought I was a trap boy. She thought I was a dope boy. But I'm telling her, like, nah, you know, we, so we went, when we went end up getting that house, oh, man, yeah. So now my mindset is, I got to leave this alone. Because this, I, at the end of the day, if it a crash on me, I know it. I, I mean, I got the feeling. 
Man, I still, I, my boy Charles, him. I said, man, I'm through, bro. And he's like, man, you, man. I said, shit, I'm through with this shit. I, I don't get mad. I said, man, I'm finna go pick up. I picked up. And you only had one girl. I had one. Wow, you making that money. But I had probably one of the baddest things out there in Fort Worth. I ain't gonna even lie to you. So I wish Charleston was here right now. When you picked up, what would you do with Man, she worked at Rick's, right? She used to have a white guy. The white guy was a person, the nigga was rich. So his, I never bought nothing for her. Never, I never bought nothing. He'd take a shopping, her done. He, I never, I never spent a dollar. Every dollar she made, she gave it came to, you. to me. I didn't have to spend no money on her, cause he spent all the money on her. And she gonna, I'm talking every single day. She, he never let her leave that club with no less than five hundred dollars. Okay, she's that it, bad. Oh man, I wish Charleston with her. Man, I wish my boy with her, bro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.